what is good everybody thank you guys for clicking on this video but before we get started i want you guys to go down to the description and hit that like and subscribe button it'll be greatly appreciated by me also hit that little bell to hit that notification so you guys can know when my next video is up and while you're down there comment down below anything related or anything at all and i'll try to comment as quick as i can anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys in there peace so you can yo what is good everybody i'm back and today we're on Legends Rewritten once again because I wanted to go through the fastest way to actually level up every single stat in the game currently. So every stat, there's health, attack, defense, magic, range, speed, mining, smithing. All right. All these are all good. Uh, what the hell am I talking about? All good. I mean, all these are pretty hard to level up except if you do this method. I don't know if there's any faster way or if this is the slowest way or if there's like, you know, some god method. But I'm pretty sure this is like one of the the fastest ways you could do it without even trying all you have to do is actually just get a friend uh, uh, you know, one of my friends joined but he's not high enough level to actually fight so um yeah uh, yeah most of this you're gonna need a friend so let's let's start with um hp so hp honestly this one you just want to get low and actually get fodderized by something as you can see i was fighting he a up in here and um he got me down pretty low with the 1000 right here wow. i got my health uh health exp going up by one you know health is one of the hardest ones to actually level up since it's one of the slowest look at this 800 for one and it's what going up every single one jesus christ what is this Oh yeah, alright, next up, let's move on to attack, so for attack, you want to get a, uh, an alt that's at least the same level as you, or at least a friend that's the same level, and I can't show this right now because, you know, um, no one is in my game. Aww. Why is everything so foggy? What the hell? Um, let me quickly get my rent, oh, that's why my render distance is like one. Stupid. Uh, what you want to do is like get inside of a corner inside of a map like uh, for example on top of this corner right here Get your two magics or whatever you want to level up your uh, melee I guess and um, yeah for your melee You want to stand in the corner and one of your friends stands right here while you stand right here and you attack them uh, Every three shots because if you do it four times it knocks them back You know what you don't want to hit him four times hit him three times like one two three and then he could hold block for more defense or uh he could just stand there and get hit all night you could macro this i don't know if this is legal or not <laughs> I, I, I honestly don't know but i did use it oh. Shut your and uh so far i'm not banned uh hopefully let's keep it that way but um yeah you just want to stand in the corner hit him with them ones with the sword and um yeah you guys both get defense and attack speaking of defense that's actually one of the fastest ways as well get one of your friends macro this overnight m1 and uh yeah you just want to be holding block or let him attack you overnight and um you will uh get revived because you will not get killed all right i i, I assure you you will not get killed unless you know unless they patch that i'm pretty sure you still just get knocked and even if you're knocked you're still uh able to you know fight back and um you know you're, you're still gonna be able to go up and they're gonna hit you and then you get your defense stab all the way up until to level 100 that's what i did and i got this overnight easily um i didn't get to level 100 because i actually maxed out my magic and uh yeah speaking of magic it's the same method you want to stand right here while your friend is right there and you spam your magic and the cool thing is if they're on the ground you don't want to clip uh you don't want to click r.i.p by the way so you don't grip them uh when they're on the ground uh you can actually spam your magic and it'll still hit them even if they're down you'll still get magic stats so it's a really good way and um yeah your magic will just go up and it also depends on how much magic damage they do so uh you want to get that magic up and the more damage you do the more exp you'll get i recommend actually getting light and um artifact uh, the hero's artifact, which is the Gilgamesh, could be found on top of the mansion, and then the light can be found, uh, near the Paladin's Field, but, like, underneath, like, a little cave. You'll see in the beginner's guide and the tutorial that I basically made. Go check it out. Uh, for range, um, this one, I haven't really tested this one out, but I'm pretty sure, uh, let's see, let's see what range does. 2,000 years later. I think for this one, you want to hit him at least three times, because I, th uh, I believe this one actually, like, knocks you back. Like, you do a little flip, and it's really hard to- uh to aim so um excuse me i'm gonna go check out the shop and get a really um get a really low level bow level one bow and then uh test out if that theory is true all right since i'm rich with 387,000 cash look at me i'm balling up in here let's go buy this uh oak bow right here give me this bow uh i would like to purchase one of them thank you so much and uh yeah let's quickly equip this bow and see what we could do with it 
Alright, as you can see, once you enter the boat thing, you wanna, you wanna just like, yeah, let's see, M11, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, does it not knock you back? There it is, alright, so let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, a few moments later, oh well, I actually don't know. I don't, I don't know what the hell's going on with this. I'm guessing just hit really slowly so you don't get that effect where it knocks you back. You could also hold this down for more damage. So this gives you more EXP. So you could hold it down or just like spam. Um, I recommend not spamming. Just hit like maybe five times and wait. And then do that over and over again with a friend using alt. Or a friend, you know, get in the corner and do that. Uh, but yeah, just hold it down, I guess, if you want to be extra safe and get more EXP. But yeah that's 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 one of the methods for a bow right now yeah if it knocks you back then i guess you can't grind bow and you have to grind it normally which that sucks moving on for speed all you want to do with speed honestly just get light and you get like speed every time you do the light or you could just you know run around and uh your speed will go up uh sometimes uh if you dash with with the skill uh oh frost dragon is still alive hold up boys hold up boys we gotta kill this dragon i, I want it up oh. um hmm it's dead. Welp. Oh yeah, so basically you just want to get like, uh, you want to get an artifact that has a dash. For example, um, this, this peak of flight has a flight. Uh, lightning has a little lightning flash. Uh, ice has a little ice, uh, skateboard thingy. The, kind of like Aokiji, but without the bike. Uh, yeah, just get one of those artifacts that has these little movement speeds and, uh, you should be good. And, or, if you're normal, you could just, uh, press Q and it'll dash you forward, so, Yeah. Next up for mining. So for mining, you want to get started near the front. Uh, this front area is where you'll, you know, basically mine everything at the start. And uh, you want to get your mining level up at the uh, up, up, up right here, basically. Uh, right here, this little area. You'll just uh, go in a little circle, keep mining all these until you get to a certain point to where you can mine coal, I believe. I, I think that's what coal, I think that's what it's called, unless it's something else. Let me quickly check. Yeah, you just want to go to the heights. Uh, I figured out the name. It's actually called the heights. Uh, you want to go to uh, iron ore. You're going to need uh, higher level pickaxes. As you can see, I have the highest level one right now, which is the dragon pickaxe right here. Dragon still pickaxe. You just want to go, yeah, black ore. You want to get to a high enough uh, state where you can just mine black ore. I don't know if you need a specific mining level. I'm pretty sure you do. But uh, once you get that specific level, just M um, just you can just auto-click this uh, over, over time. Or if you get to another, if you get high enough... You could go up here and then uh, get the higher ores. So there's the black ore, there's the iron ore, there's the silver ore right here. Uh, I mean, white stone ore at level uh, 30 HP. And then up here, uh, once you get high, high enough level, uh, you're going to be able to mine, you know, the, the bigger boys, the big boy ores. And uh, to check that, you want to go up here on this little little cliff side, little, little cave that you'll see. Uh, yeah, you just want to go up here and then you'll see, okay, I, I fell down. But yeah, just go inside this little cave and you'll find every single ore that you, you need, honestly. You know, just, just skip everything and go here. So if you're a high enough level, you could mine the Stardust ore, you could get the White Stone ore, you could get the Crystal ore, you could get the White Stone uh, Dragon ore right here. So just auto-click over, overnight or like uh, just a little bit of time and then get the better pickaxe and then mine these. And I don't know the specific requirements. There's a Trello. I'll leave it in the description. Go check it out. But yeah, that's basically how you do it. You could just auto-click. Auto-click the mining. Now for smithing, you want to go to the smithing shop or the smithing area and um, before you do that, you actually want to get as much ore as you can, as much copper, as much, you know, white stone, as much as anything ore as you can and then go to the smithing area and craft as much of the lower ones. Uh, I recommend crafting the lower ones to get started but then um, once you get into the bigger, uh, bigger ores like the adamantite or the black longsword, start crafting those and keep trying to grind up until you could get the highest level sword or armor that you can make um I, I recommend armor since you know there's multiples of them of them and you can actually you know get more exp out of them it's really nice uh just craft more armor and then once you get high enough level you could soon craft the star forge set uh it's, it's level 100 and uh yeah you're gonna need a lot of crafting it doesn't take that long honestly it took me around like 30 minutes to actually get besides you know trying to get the ores just uh yeah get a bunch of ore gather them up and then mine and craft a bunch of these stuff and then once you get to level 70 you could get this bad boy right here crimson staff i'm still trying to get it to this day and uh it's taking a while but yeah that's everything that you need to know that's everything that uh you know the fastest way to actually level up every stat in the game unfortunately um, i don't have any like friends that are online that could show you uh how to actually you know level up 
the magic's uh, attack and defense but you know that's uh, that's the fastest way just get in the corner let him hit you or you hit them with the specific uh item or attack and you know your stat will go up over time but yeah that's basically it hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys found this useful uh but if you already haven't go down to the description and hit that like and subscribe button it'll be greatly appreciated by me anyways hit that notification bell so you guys can know my next video is out and for more videos just like this i'll see you boys and girls in the next one have a damn good day peace